Hello and welcome to our next video about hydraulics. Last time we talked about the basic structure of hydraulic system. Uh, we talked about that there is a power supply, but there's an energy part, there's a working part, and, and basically there's the power part and the control part and so on. This is the picture. This is the picture which we have drawn last time. Yeah? So there's a control part which is controlling the power part and the power part does consists of several different things. Yeah? There's the working part where actually something is doing. There's the energy part where the energy is distributed somehow to, to rules yeah? which come from the control part uh, to the working part. And then there is the power supply part, uh, energy power supply part. Yeah, First thing we are going to talk about is this power supply part here. There are a lot of things inside which are simply necessary. Yeah? So there is the pump, for sure. Yeah? This is going to be the first thing we are going to talk about in the next video. So there is the pump. There is the motor, yeah? which is driving the pump and it's connected with this clutch yeah? or with this uh, connector. Yeah? In mobile hydraulics, these motors are usually combustion engine. Yeah? In stationary hydraulic, these motors are usually electric drives uh, because they are simply more efficient. Uh, yeah. Then what else is inside? There's, there are filters inside. We're going to talk about filters. What is not in this picture drawn? There are accumulators, pressure accumulators, also part of the power supply, energy supply part. Yeah? And of course, there is the tank. Yeah? Huge topic, what's about the tank, also a huge difference between mobile hydraulic and, and, and stationary hydraulic. Then there is of course also this, this pressure limiting valve and so on. Yeah? And also not shown in this picture, there are heaters and coolers, uh, which might get necessary in certain, after in, in, in some cases, uh, some cases, they might get necessary. So, like I said, motors, usually combustion engine and electrical drives, depending on which type of hydraulic. And also, if there are big, really big hydraulic systems, yeah, then there we usually good to have different control parts and different energy and working parts and so on, but there might be one central power supply part. Yeah? This is in big distributed things sometimes usual. Yeah? It's quite hard to produce something like this because you know not every part in a in a complex machinery is coming from the same vendor. Yeah? So for instance, for instance, in a water, in a water hydraulic power plant, yeah? there is the turbine manufacturer which is delivering the turbine, there is the generator manufacturer which is, which is delivering the generator, and so on. And both and all of these systems, or quite a lot of these systems, do use hydraulic components yeah? for, for bearings, for changing something, and so on. And it's very hard to, to, to meet the the uh, requirements of all vendors with the central thing. So, yeah, if it's a central hydraulic, usually the whole plant or the whole system comes from one vendor. Okay. Yeah. So this is the power supply part. Yeah. Already mentioned. Next video, this was the introduction now to this, next video we are going to talk about the pumps. What is a pump, uh, different type of pumps, how to select the pump and so on, will be covered in the next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.